Okay. What we're going to look at today is how we did describe our position on the surface of the Earth more accurately. And uh, we're going to be doing that by using two different systems. That's uh, through decimal degrees and degrees, minutes and seconds. So we'd like to be able to convert between them and then have a look at what they mean on a map. So the first system are the decimal degrees. Now, if I have a look at this, for example, 43.34 degrees, what I'm really saying is 34 out of 100, or 34 hundredths of a degree, if I look at this section here. Whereas if I consider decimal degrees, and I'm looking here at 34, point, uh, uh, 34 degrees, 20 minutes, and 24 seconds, I am breaking down each of these into smaller units. So this is a little bit more reminiscent of our timepieces, but don't get confused there. So if I have a, well, first of all, I'll try and convert between uh, degrees, minutes and seconds and decimal degrees. So if I'm looking here at 43 degrees, and 34 hundredths of a degree. Now I want to convert that to degrees, minutes and seconds. I can describe that in a couple of different ways. I can use degrees, minutes and seconds. So a degree symbol, a minute symbol is just an apostrophe and seconds are the double apostrophes. Now I told you that there were 60 minutes per degree. So to do the conversion, I would just use that hundredths, 34 hundredths, and multiply by 60. And what would happen is they would have now the 43 degrees, but now I would have 20.4 minutes. And uh, I could further break that down to say 43 degrees, 20 minutes, and then I'd get that point 0.4, and because there's, uh, uh, what do we say, 60 seconds per minute, we just say plus that point 0.4 multiplied by 60. Now, 6 fours are 24, so it would be 43 degrees, 20 minutes, and 24 seconds to convert between those two. If I want to convert the other way, I need to think of sixtieths and convert them into decimals. The way we convert to decimals is just to do a division. So if I'm looking at 45 degrees and 10 minutes, what I'm really saying is 45 degrees. Now plus, the way we're going to convert is 10 divided by 60. So we're saying 10 sixtieths. Now, 10 divided by 60 is about 0.16. So we're saying 45 degrees, and we're going to go 0.167, or 45.167 decimal degrees. So there's something to remember is that there are 60 minutes per degree, and there are 60 seconds per minute. Uh, so in this activity, I just want to show you how to use your FX calculator to uh, swap between decimal degrees and degrees, minutes and seconds. So let's have a look at 23.56 decimal degrees. So that's about 23 and a bit over a half of another one. So we know that there are 100 decimal degrees or 100 decimals to the next degree. If we use this button here, we have a degrees, a minutes, and a seconds. Remember the, the circle, the superscript circle with a hole in it is the degree sign. And we have a comma and then we have a double comma. So the comma is our minutes and the double comma is our seconds. So we've typed in 23.56 degrees. We just press this and uh, this will convert it to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now this makes sense because remember there are 30 minutes per degree in this case and we know that this is just a little bit over halfway. So that answer looks 
like it's making sense. And to convert back, we'll just press that button there. Okay, on this map, you can see that we've got a lot more detail. So it's more precise. There are smaller fractions. If we have a look, first of all, at the latitudes and the lines of latitude, let's have a look at the scale. You can see some bigger markings. You can see one, two, three, four, and a five. So each of these bigger markings must equal a minute. So this would be 27 degrees and one minute, 27 degrees, two minutes, 27 degrees, three minutes, 27 degrees, and four minutes. And they are all south. So each of these big ones, that would be 27 degrees, six minutes south. That would be seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that works out well. So each of those larger markings represent one minute. Now if I have a look at the smaller scale on this side, we can see that one minute is divided into fifths. One fifth is the same as saying 0 0.2. So if I want to look at a certain point in particular, let's go here first of all, I will be reading down 27 point, 27 degrees and one, two, three minutes. So 27 degrees, three minutes. And I can go, well, it's one and two. So I've got two of those. So that's going to be 0.4 and they will be minutes. So 27 degrees, 3.4 minutes. I'm not going to bother uh, turning them into seconds. We can leave them just at decimals of a minute. Let's have a look at another couple of examples just to ensure we've got our head around it. Let's go this one here, which is in between. So we've got 27 degrees, 0.678, 27 degrees. Um, and then we've got seven, now two, four, six, seven, so 7.7 7 minutes. So halfway in between, you just assume that it would be the odd number. Now, if we look at the longitude scale across the top, the same sort of thing is happening. So we know, for example, where's an one to look at? 153 degrees and 35 minutes east. That's got to be 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So 36 minutes, 37 minutes, 38 minutes, and so on. So that's how you read the scale on this map. Let's now use this chart to find the position or describe the position of point E. So here's point E and we want to read latitude and longitude. So lat is flat. So look at the flat one first. So we read here and we can see that it's about here. And we realize that each of the larger scales is one minute. So that's got to be six minutes. And then it's one of the smaller and halfway through the next one. So 6.3. So the way we would describe the angle of latitude is 27 degrees, 6.3 minutes south. Let's consider the longitude now of point E. So we draw our line straight through and it's up here. And it's just before the previous one. If so if that's 45, that one's 46. It's got to be uh, 45.9. And that's 
fill in the rest 153 degrees and 45.9 east. So we describe point E at 27 degrees 6.3 minutes south, 153 degrees 45.9 minutes east. Your work now is to work on page 257 and do exercise 5B.